Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today, I want to share with you something very exciting, and that's, of course, combination locks. Now, for a long time, I've been working on my own combination locks, and I haven't really got too far, because my logical sort of applying skills and mixing of the timer block doesn't tend to end very well. So I headed to the workshop seeking some help. Now, Game Hater has produced this amazing combination lock, and I want to share it with you today, as well as talking a little bit about how it works, so you could possibly make your own, as well as download and have a look at Haters itself. Now, we've got a nine button keypad that corresponds with spotlights over here, so you know what you're entering. So I'll just show you its basic function. So if we enter a code, not the right code, of course, you'll notice that the green lights light up one at a time, and you can see there we've entered three wrong numbers, it's gone red, and the door has not opened. Now he's also applied a reset button, so if I enter three buttons like so, and I hit that button, it resets the lock. Now let's talk about entering the correct code. So the code for his door is 1579, and you can see that's actually opened up the door. Now to close this door again, we're gonna hit the same number, 1579, and that'll lock the door. The keypad's gonna go clear, and it's gonna tell us how it works. Now, I'm gonna explain to you the best of my ability how it works, and it all starts here with the buttons. And he's built it into a very compact package, and he's actually used the rotor glitch here to make it that complicated. So that is the whole of the logic unit, you could call it. And that is basically powered up to these buttons, and this little item here is controlling this whole area. All the other items of this base it's pretty much just the door and lights. So let's close that cover up so I can stand back there and we'll walk around the back and try to explain this thing. Now this will get a little bit complicated and I'm gonna to try to explain it with a flow chart. I've even made one myself here. Now it all starts here at the buttons. So for instance, button one sets up actions and we can actually see that it's gone to a logic cell one trigger now. So it's actually triggering a timer block. So let's go and find that logic cell one. Now, if we go down to the bottom, we should say logic cell one, and there it is, logic cell one. Let's have a look at its actions. Now, from the logic cell, it's gonna give us two different things, correct or incorrect, telling us if that button that we've pressed is a button in the code, or if it isn't a button. And what deciphers that is this button here. So this triggers the logic compare unit. And what we've got here is the logic count and the toggle the block off once it's finished doing its little process. And it'll also turn the light on. Now let's move to the next area. So we're looking at for the logic compare unit. But first of all, I'm gonna show you a wrong button. So number two is not in the code of 1579. So we'll have a look at that, self actions. And you'll notice that the compare unit's not there. So it's just gonna simply activate, turn itself off and show the light to show that you've pressed the button, but it's not gonna tell you if it's right or wrong. So we're looking for the logic compare unit. So here it is, logic compare one. Now if we go to this and have a look at the setup of the actions, we can actually see now it's comparing it, sending it over to two, turning logic compare unit two on, and it's also here toggling the block off once it's finished. So this is what it's trying to do now is check that you've entered it in the right order. So the right order of course is one, two, three, four, i.e. one, five, seven, nine. And if they're entered in the right order, it'll work, but say for instance that seven is entered, it'll get to this stage saying that the logic cell has told it that is correct, but the problem is, is that when it gets in the wrong order here, it'll simply come over this block and it'll turn off and it won't activate the rest of the process. Now, if they're all entered correct, it comes down to logic compare four. So if we look at the actions, you'll notice that it's gonna do one more thing. So it's actually toggling all the blocks, comparing the blocks, and if we are right, we'll move on to the check and compare. So we've got it all right here, and we're opening logic door two. So we've got the door two, and that is all the way at the top. Now it's a little bit complicated this, and it's a bit hard to follow, but I'll try to show it in a little bit of a diagram. So we're gonna pop the door open, door logic two, set up actions, and you'll notice that it's now gonna open the pistons, turn on the lights in the next room, and we've pretty much got ourselves a piston operated door controlled by a very simple, very efficient, very small little keypad. So let's enter it one more time, and we'll open it up. So one, five, seven, nine. And by simply changing the logic compare unit, we can change the code. Should we have a go at that now? Should we have a go at changing the code? So it's one, 
down, and it, and it, and there we go. And we're going to run around the back and we'll change the code. So the first thing we want to do in changing the code is head and find our logic compare unit. So our compare unit is where the problem is going to rely, but it's going to rely on actually changing two things. So first off, we need to find the logic cells. So it's currently set to 1579. So we need to find cell one, set up actions, and we need to obviously remove this and stop this. So we're just going to remove this from there. And then we're going to remove it from the other two numbers. So we're going to remove it from five, set up actions, remove from here, remove. And then we're going to remove it from the other two. So a seven and a nine set up actions, remove. Remove, 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 and then we've got the final one that's nine. Activate that, set up actions, and finally remove this one as well. But we just want to remember what it's actually set to. So this is set on a trigger on and off. So we need to remove that from the bar like so. And now we can actually head on to programming our new code. So what we need to do is find the new numbers that we wish. So first of all, let's think, let's change the code to perhaps. 3876 that could work quite now well set up actions we need to put compare unit 1 into this little bar so we need to find the compare unit compare 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 unit to do two three four okay we need to find number one there's compare unit and we want that on toggle block on and off actually hold on a second let me just double check that we actually want that one on that one uh, what do we need now we need it on trigger now I'm afraid there we go and then we're gonna go back to the next stage and program the rest of the blocks very quickly so set up actions compare logic 2 trigger now compare logic 3 set up actions oh right, there we go this is set up and we need to find the next logic so that's three set up actions and trigger now go back to finally our number six so three eight seven six will be our code and we need to find number four and trigger now so now this should be our operational code we'll go back one more stage check it so three eight seven six will be our code and let's try it out so three seven six well fuck it bloody hell forgot the code already okay let's go back and quickly check our code i i put i put in order so it couldn't be much harder um right what we got three eight seven six three eight seven six three eight seven six and there we go we've reset the code and that is pretty simple it's pretty effective and i just really love the design so make sure you check the link out in the description for the steam workshop and try to remember your password if you're going to do this otherwise you're going to be locking things away and having to weld or grind away the door to get them out so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time